Welcome back. Uh, excited to share with you some more exciting resources and tools for you to find. So we are talking about going to the resources tab, which is the bottom drawer of your filing cabinet. And basically from resources, we drilled down into a chapter. And from a chapter, you can go to any lesson. And this will pull up all your different resources. And there are pages and pages, and we've, we've talked about that the same icon tray that you see on your home page is also found under resources. Now, there's a really cool resource that I want you to pay special attention to, and this is the icon for it. Kind of sort of like a Venn diagram. So I'm going to go underneath resources, or I, I could have pulled it from my home page too, and then let's drill down, and it's called tools. You middle school teachers are super special because you get two sets of tools with your Glencoe Math program. You have the Virtual Manipulatives, which is our K-8 through toolkit, as well as our E toolkit, which is our 612 toolkit. So let's open up the first set. And, of course, this is more age-appropriate for kindergarten through 8th grade. Um, I never select a grade because that just limits the tools I have. Now here we'll have backgrounds, and you'll have game boards and storyboards, as well as work mats. And underneath work mats, you'll find centimeter grids, coordinate grids, different types of grids that you can use there. Down here at the bottom, you'll have a pen tool. And also, yes, draw straight lines. There are protractors and various other manipulatives down that you can use. Down here at the bottom, this is where I have clear objects. And that basically clears what I have written on. And then this other one is remove the background. So basically, I can start with a clean, fresh slate each and every time that I would like to. Now from here, I'm going to go to my manipulatives. And these are in alphabetical order. You have algebra tiles, attribute blocks, base 10 blocks, um, a bucket balance, clocks, geo boards. Geo boards are really fun because now you can give your students virtual rubber bands in the classroom. So a nice tool here, a manipulative, um, as well as geometric solids and just many different ones for you to choose from. I know we're talking middle school students here, but have to share with you a personal favorite here, and that is bears in a boat. Because right here, I can teach some really great logic problems. I can teach ratios and proportions, or maybe just teach students how to go sit properly at an assembly. So a key resource here that allows you I am going to close out of this particular toolkit and go into my second toolkit, which, as I said, this was developed for 6th through 12th grade. And so instead of game boards and storyboards, we just have our work mats, but you'll have more varieties. So for coordinate grids, you'll have different activities. You'll have the different grids, but you'll also have activities. So here is maybe write a point, plot a point, and then yes, after you plot several, you can draw a straight line. Uh, a key tool that was added down here is our working compass. So this is really nice. There's also a stopwatch and a teach timer down here for you to use as well. The manipulatives, too, are a little more sophisticated. You have coin tosses. You still have your algebra tile, um, fraction boards, geo boards, tangrams, uh, triangle special segments. So eighth grade teachers, a really nice tool here on triangle special segments. But let's go up to the top, and one of the most popular ones are our 3D figures because we all know that students struggle with the perspectives and finding in 3D figures. So what's nice here is I can take a prism or cylinder pyramid and change it. I can change the base. As you see here, I'm just playing around changing perspective because, as we all know, if students look at a top view, 
it may not look like a 3D figure. So we can change that. I can change the height or the basis edge. I can show the different areas. But what's something that students really struggle with here is they struggle with the net. So watch this little key right down here at the bottom, and I can take and unfold this. Now remember, once it's unfolded, then I can grab my pen tool, and maybe we could talk about surface area, lateral area, all different types of ways to use um, this particular tool. And where are these found? They're found in many different places. They're found under the Resource tab, and I just went to Tools. They're on my home screen, the little green icon. Remember, this icon tray also trans transfers over, so in your ebook, it's at point of views on every page in the ebook as well. So, resource tab. Great resources, tons of resources for you to use. Um, use a keyword search. Remember, pick out your favorites and all kind of good things. Now, mentioning favorites, one other piece I want to talk to you about here, and that's in this blue toolbar, is our My Files. My Files is a place for you to go in and upload anything that maybe you've created and you want to assign or share with other students, or just a quick way so you have everything in one place. So, here's some examples. You can download documents, you can download presentations, even pictures if you would like to your My Files. It's really easy. You just hit the Upload Now button and that will take you right there. I encourage you to use your Resource tab. And once in your Resource tab, please go in and um, explore both of the toolkits. Once you have maybe explored some of the toolkits, if you'll please go to our Quick Start discussion forum and share with your colleagues what's your favorite tool and how would you use it in your classroom. Thank you.